Hi and welcome in this video. Today I show you how you can create fog in a landscape image like this without Photoshop. I'm right now in beautiful Cornwall. If you are from the UK or maybe even from the area of Cornwall, write it in the comments below. It's uh, very great to photograph here. A lot of great landscape spots. And right now I'm in a beautiful creek here with some nice, yeah, small riverbanks and some small uh, falls here. And we have those beautiful trees here in the background. Old trees, they look very mystic, as if some wizard came and said, boom. Uh, stay in that position till Jaworski comes and takes some nice photos. And I just took some amazing photos here and it was a very moody day. There was some fog around, but in the area where I'm photographing right now, there is no fog. But I wish there would be some fog, so what can I do? Of course I can use Photoshop, but I can do an even more amazing trick in landscape photography. I can create fog without Photoshop and I show you how that works. Let's first talk about the composition. I have the beautiful tree here, the visit tree on the right hand side. I have that creek floating around through the image and I have some other trees there in the background and it's a bit brighter in this area of the image. So in the left hand corner it's a bit brighter than in the right hand corner of the image. I use a polarizer, I use F11 ISO 100 and around two to three seconds of exposure time to get a very smooth creek here, very smooth water. I have some uh, uh, wood here in the water as well and that looks amazing with a longer exposure. And what I will do now is, wait for that, I will just go on my camera, take my tongue, no just kidding, I don't take my tongue, I will just in front of the lens and especially on top of the lens. So I create kind of fog on front of the lens, or on front of the filter, in my case, the polarizer filter. And I want to create the breath, the fog of the breath, just in that area where the brighter spot in the image is. So I don't want to be, um, let's say the bottom to be foggy. I just want to have the fog from the top and especially from the left hand corner. So I just go very close and then very smoothly, with a lot of feeling, you have, you have to make a kind of, you know, uh, you have to build a relation to your camera. And then just very gently, just whisper in the ear of the lens, hello. <laughs> and then you see the fog is there and now I take the image. And the great thing is, you can wait for some time, because usually when you breathe for the first time, you breathe too strong. So try it very soft. You just want a gentle, yeah, light, overshining, foggy thing from the top, but not fog all over the image. So when I do something like this, just in front of the lens, it can look amazing, but it will be too much fog for my taste. So I just want the top left hand corner to be very foggy and you can take some more shots, some more shots and just wait till the fog or till the fog of your breath goes away from the filter or from the lens. And that's an amazing trick you can use wherever you want to create fog, just completely without Photoshop. And it works best when you eat some garlic bread. No, just kidding, it works best all the time, but especially in those wet conditions where it's yeah, a bit colder and the lens gets foggy, you can use it very, very good. And I think um, it adds a lot of drama, a lot of moodiness to the image with that just simple trick without Photoshop, just in camera. So now I just take it again. There's still fog in front of the lens. Yeah, and it looks amazing. I show you an image without the fog and now with the fog. Great, isn't it? So you can try it out for yourself. Quick commercial, if you want to learn more about landscape photography, go to learnfromben.com. This is my website and there we filmed a whole course about the essentials of landscape photography. I teach you about ND filters, polarizers, graduated filters, all different styles and techniques that you can use to capture great landscape images. And then of course you can add some nice or hello to your images. I think some people will get some nightmares after this video of me saying hello in their ear. 
All right, so I'll see you in the next video. Subscribe to the channel if you haven't already, and check me out on Instagram and all the other good stuff, and bye-bye. I take some more images and say hello.